1.4 billion adults are overweight and 500 million of us are obese. That's 40% over our ideal weight. It's officially categorized as a disease. I'm Jacques Peretti, and in this series I'm going to trace those responsible for a revolution in our eating habits. I'll be looking at how decisions made behind closed doors transformed food into an addiction. People who have a hard time controlling their weight, their brains are being hijacked. But how business changed the shape of a nation. From a marketing standpoint, as long as it didn't curtail or anchor you in a negative way, you were fine and at how the food industry itself choreographs temptation. And everybody who says it to you that it's all your own fault, forget it. The evidence is the exact contrary. It is a war. It's a war between our bodies and the accessibility that modern society gives us with food. I'll be telling the story of those who turned eating food into an epidemic. Two-thirds of British adults are overweight, and one in four of us is obese. That's 40% over our ideal weight. It's officially categorized as a disease. What's strange is how quickly this has all happened. Since 1980, obesity levels across the globe have doubled, and this extra weight doesn't just affect the way we look it massively increases our chances of getting a host of diseases. It's a new kind of epidemic. At any one time, a quarter of the population is doing battle with their weight. But we don't know how it came to this. Is it down to us or the companies which produce our food? Ursula is starting a new regime. From childhood, I was always overweight, always. Keep it going, bring me on While has managed to lose two and a half stone. It's always that temptation, you've had a little bit, you want a little bit more. Keep it going. I still see myself going into a shop and looking at the labels. Buy one, get one free, or buy uh, one, get two free sometimes. I tried many times. There was always fruits and vegetables in the house. It was just my choice that I used to always go for unhealthy food. It's sort of like, yeah, I really shouldn't have eaten that. Sometimes I thought that I was buying healthy food, but I never looked at the labels. And only later, when you empty the packages, you realise, what have I done? It's too late now. You've got to have great determination. You've got to have to be really strong. We're not becoming lazier or greedier, but the food industry has changed the very nature of what we eat in the last 40 years. And that may have changed our shape too.